Hello everyone, I hope you're all good and thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a whole bunch of products that I've been using non-stop this month. This is going to be a full face as always, so yeah, let's begin. This product isn't going to be a shock to you, like honestly, I use this all the damn time and this is in probably 80% of my videos, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I switch between shade 4 and shade 5. I've got a few breakouts and redness on my chin due to, you know, masks and all that jazz. You know, I've raved about the Hollywood Flawless Filter product for the longest time. You can use this product as a highlighter. You can use it mixed in with your foundation. You can use it as a primer, like how I have done. You can also put this on and wear this with just concealer. So I do that quite a lot. This is an absolute holy grail for me. Oh my God. Just for video ID. Woo. I need to do a holy grail updated makeup look, don't I? If you guys would have watched my Full Face of Charlotte Tilbury products, back in like summertime. I used the Wonder Glow foundation, but I also had the Magic foundation as an option. And of course, in the winter months, I tend to wear a little bit of higher coverage. I'm gonna pop it onto the back of my hand right now. One little pump. I'm using the shade seven. I switched between seven and eight. But this is a really gorgeous, buildable foundation. And I find that it works well on my skin type. I have combination skin. So I'm just going in with a flat, dense brush right now. Kind of like a flat top kabuki style. Got a slight angle on it. You can use whatever brush you like, but this is just what I'm using. Are you guys feeling Christmassy this year or not? A part of me is, and then a part of me just isn't. Um, feel Christmassy in the evening when I've got like the decorations on and stuff, but I just don't feel like I've had the usual Christmas year what I normally would have. Like every year without a fail, me and my sister, we blast out Mariah Carey as we drive in the car. If we ever see someone else wearing a Christmas hat, we're like, woo! because we got our Christmas hats on. Like honestly, me and my sister love going shopping in our Christmas hats, like it's actually jokes. I'm just hoping that next year is a really blessed year for all of us. Pressing this on will really help me build up that coverage that I need in this area, rather than wiping and blending that out. Before I go in my concealer, we are gonna go in with a little bit of cream contour. Now this is the Huda Beauty Tantor. This is such a gorgeous product. It blends out amazingly well. You can really build it up, but it doesn't look too harsh. It's super creamy and it honestly just melts away it's gorgeous i really really love it you can see i've hit pan on this and i'm just gonna do like that when you use a cream product and you set it in place with a powder your makeup will last so much longer i'm just buffing this up now i'm bringing it down the cheek and where this bit is here just go on top with your foundation brush before i do the other side of the face i'm gonna go in with a brush and I've been contouring my nose a little bit differently now into that brow bone as always. That looks wonky as hell on camera. <laughs> into that socket line and blend that up into the bronzer underneath the bottom lip. Cupid's bow. <laughs> Got hair up my nose. <sighs> With the nose, once again, we're gonna do like patting motion because we don't want that to blend out completely because we will be setting that in place with a powder and we will be baking alongside the nose as well. This concealer, I don't think I've ever used on this channel. This is the Fenty Pro Filter. I have the shade 225. I think I might get one slightly lighter than this as well, just for when I want a bit more of a brighter under eye. Also guys, look at my nails. They're like festive, festive vibes. Popping that into the inner tear duct area. I will put a little bit on my chin, but not directly onto the spots, just mainly in the center of the chin, like there. If I touch the spot, then I will wipe before I put it back in. Taking a fluffy brush, we're just gonna blend that out. What is your ultimate favorite concealer? Like for me, concealer is so important. Let me know what your favorite concealer is. I like a full coverage concealer. Blend that onto the top of the eye. This will also help if you have any sort of transparency onto the lids or any sort of veins, you know, any sort of discoloration, dark eyelids, whatever, if you ain't getting enough sleep. You know, whatever the issue is, just blend that onto there and then blend that out. A little bit of that concealer goes a long way. As you can see, we pop that in the inner corner and we're just blending that all out now. Oh yeah. Me personally, I just love the coverage on this concealer. It's been a month of cream blushes, liquid blushes. Oh my God, I've just been loving it. I've just been loving how they look, especially if you build them up. These two actually are by Cole. These two are by Iconic. Iconic? Go on. These two are by Iconic. Iconic, why can't I say that? What is wrong with me? Am I okay? These two are by Iconic London and they are their sheer blushes. This one is in the shade Right Rose and this one is Fresh Face. And I'm gonna mix them together because this one's a bit more like nude and this one's more pinky. And we're gonna mix them together. We're gonna have a little moment and we're gonna pop those onto the cheeks. So I'm gonna mix it onto the back of my hand. So, the other day, right? Disney Plus now has Mulan on it. So I was like, 
let's give this a go. I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard mixed reviews. Do you know what? I'm sorry if you liked it, yeah, but what a letdown. And yeah, I don't know. So I've mixed those two together and that is the shade that we're going with. I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush here to pick up the product. You can go directly onto the skin with these, but I just like to do this and then I like to build it up. This is actually a gorgeous product to use in the summertime. Have you seen Mulan? And what did you think of it? Okay, so whatever's left on this brush, I'm just running into the crease of the eyes. I'm also gonna run that onto the bridge of the nose. This ties all the colors in together. Recently, what I've been doing is mixing Laura Mercier Honey, the translucent honey, with the original translucent. This is my little mini one for traveling. How flipping cute is that? I just love a mini. Like, honestly, I'm a sucker for a mini. When I'm in a queue of boots, I'm like, <laughs> All right, all right, <laughs> if you insist. But <laughs> yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna mix a little bit of those two together. So I do it in the lid. Mm. Do it in the lid. Here, so I just do a little bloop, bloop, bloop. And then bloop, bloop, bloop in there too. Just gonna use the end of the brush to mix that all together. And this is the color that it's made. Then I'm just going along the nose like this. Honestly, if I don't bake my nose, I just feel like my nose contour, my makeup just doesn't feel right. Gotta set the under eye place too. I like to bring that up my cheekbones as well. Then the jaw. Some people don't even like baking, you know? But I'm one of those people that now, I just can't have my makeup like done without it. Like for me, this really makes my makeup last. Like don't get me wrong, obviously I can do my makeup without it, like that's a slight exaggeration. But I prefer how my makeup looks when I have baked. And sometimes, yeah, my eyebrows get a little bit shy shiny, although they look really weird right now, they get a little bit shiny and I just go over with them like this with a little bit of powder and then they're so matte throughout the day because I get shiny here as well, like in my eyebrow bit. Whilst this is setting in place, I am then going to go in with this, which is the Huda Beauty Cinnamon Bun Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I'm going to use it to bronze up the skin. So at first, I just go on the areas that I just want to set in place and actually look more bronzed. So wherever I did the tan tour, a lot of people tend to get a loose powder and use it as a bronzer because it just looks so nice and smooth on the skin. And as I bronze up the face, I'm also buffing out that powder and it just works so nicely. I'm gonna go underneath that jawline too because isolation was really rude to my double chin, like really rude. So I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna go back and join a gym because I canceled my gym membership when I moved and now I feel like I need to find a gym but I wanna try and find a gym somewhere close to kind of like where I do my food shopping or where I go because in that way I can go gym go to my food shopping or go wherever. Do you know what I mean? I need it to be close to something that is beneficial because if I have more reasons to go there, then I'll go there. Whereas if I'm just like, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'll be like, oh, I can't bother. Whereas if I'm like, I'm gonna go gym today and I'm gonna do my food shop after or I'm gonna pick up these bits, sounds silly, but it actually encourages me to go, if that makes any sense, I don't know. Although this is technically a bronzing shade, I still am gonna go in and use it just to add a little bit of definition with the nose. I had a comment before, someone saying, oh, so you can contour with bronzer. Things with contouring, you're creating shadows and the illusion of like a shadow there. With bronzer, you can still add definition and make your face look slimmer, bronzed, you know, all that kind of stuff. Whereas if I really wanted my cheeks to pop right now, then I'd go in with a taupe sort of cool toned shade just along here to really enhance the hollows of the cheek. But if you do want to, you know, really do a snatch nose contour, then you can of course use something like Benefit Hula, which is a little bit more on the cool tone side. I'm just doing this so that my nose looks a little bit more defined and doesn't get lost because I feel like when I do my whole face, this if this has not got any sort of bronzer on it or anything, it just looks lost amongst everything else. I desperately need to fill in these eyebrows. I hate how my eyebrows look when they're not filled in and they just look really, really weird. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is actually one of the first sort of like brow pencils that I ever sort of used years ago, especially these sort of wind up ones because all the other ones back in the day were like actual pencils or eyeshadow. But this was one of the first sort of ones that I was introduced to. I've been switching between this and my Benefit for Slicely Brow. I also did a cozy night in if you guys haven't seen that. And also, so if you haven't already, please click the bell because then that way you'll never miss an upload. And recently I have been uploading more than once a week. As you can see, I'm just creating the shape underneath the eyebrow. And then all I do is any little sparse areas like there or here, I'll just go through with this like that and then just brush everything into the eyebrow. Like I used to be proper precise with my eyebrows and be like, oh God, they got like this. But now I look back and I'm like, ugh, they look so boxy. And now I think if they look a bit uneven, a bit bushy, a little bit like, 
a little bit crazy, you know, I think they actually look a bit better. I also like to go on top of my little mole here using Benefit's 24 Brow Setter and make those hairs really show through. Sometimes I'll actually just flatten the brush on there so like a lot of the product goes on there too. And then those are my eyebrows done. Okay, so this next product is honestly gorgeous. Like I just love these so much. I find them so easy to use that anyone, literally anyone, whether you are experienced with makeup, you don't know hardly anything about makeup, you don't even hardly wear makeup, like anyone can use these and make them look incredible on your eyes, legit. Mark my words, anyone of you watching this, you can do this, okay? This is the Eyes to Mesmerize by Charlotte Tilbury. And the shade that I've recently been obsessed with is Sunset Rose, this gorgeous shade here. I have the copper one of these and I love it. It's like my go-to evening look. I just add like darker brown on the outer corner, blah, blah, blah. It's so easy. My friend Emma loved how it looked as well. So I got her one of these for her Christmas present, which you might have seen when we swapped Christmas presents with one another recently on my channel. These are quite expensive when you think it's just literally one cream eyeshadow. You don't get a whole bunch of them but they last ages like this tub is gonna last you so long i think what would be a really cool idea is if charlotte tilbury did a pack of three of these like you know an actual little pack maybe christmas time or on a certain holiday like winter summer like whatever they could do like a pack of three and just maybe make them a little bit smaller or do like a special price for free because I think it'd be nice if you got quite a few of them, but these are stunning. They look insane on the eyes. I need to just show you it, okay? This is a Zoeva 237. Take a little bit on your brush. It looks like a little cream mousse. Pop that on. Just look. How gorgeous is that shade? Then from here, I'll grab a small fluffy brush and just really smoke out those edges and blend it out. If you wanted to, you could use a normal eyeshadow just to really set that in place and use this to intensify it like this. Then I'm gonna go in again, and this is where I'm just building it up and then we blend again. Because it is a whipped sort of mousse texture, if you do have oily lids, then you will need to set this in place. And then pat, pat, pat. If you also wanted this to pop, you could grab a highlighter and just with your finger, just dab it in the center of the lid to really make that look 3D and even more glossy. I'm gonna run a tiny bit of that underneath the waterline as well, just to connect that up. It just looks so nice and glossy. And it just looks a little bit more intense than what a normal eyeshadow would look all over the lid. Yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna pop on some eyelashes and I'm gonna do the other eye. And I'll see you in two. Lashes are on. I've used these probably about six times now. <laughs> no joke. I've been rinsing these eyelashes to death. They are the Tatty Lashes Faux Mink. Um, too hot for you ones. I don't actually buy mink lashes at all anymore. And I don't think I ever will. I just love how thick these ones are. Since this lip liner has been introduced into my life, which was fairly recent, I've been using it every day, non-stop. So this is the Huda Beauty Flirt Lip Liner. Oh crap, I need to sharpen it. All right, we'll try and work with it not being sharpened because um, sharpened in the room. Yeah, this is pretty much sold out like all the damn time. If I can find anywhere that this is in stock, I will leave it linked in the down bar, but it is pretty hard and this hasn't long been in my life. However, I love it. So I'm just gonna go over my Cupid's bow because I kind of always go over on this bit here and then the bottom lip, fill in the corners and underneath. And then this is the shade of the Flirt Lip Liner. I don't know if I used this one of my last monthly favorites, I can't remember, but this is the Lip Lingerie, and this one is in the shade Baby Doll. Out of all the lip lingeries, I think this one is probably one of my most used ones. With this dark lip liner, they really contrast against one another, so I just dab it in, and then use my finger to blend it out, and then this is what it looks like. Ain't it so nice? I live for a nude lip, I really do. So I've been switching between like two lip glosses and I just want to show both because then you have like two different price points. So obviously this one's super affordable and this one is just a little bit expensive. I think this is around like 17 pounds and this one's probably around like six or something like this. So this is the Lottie London um, gloss lip gloss in the shade Drenched. It kind of has a little pinky tone as you guys can see here. And then this is the Fenty one in the shade Fussy. This is the one I'm gonna to use today, um, just because I think it'll go quite nicely with it, but I have been switching between those two. Because the lip lingerie and the lip liner are completely different in shades, this helps kind of melt everything together. Okay, my last facial product that I'm gonna share with you guys is the Iconic London Prep Set Glow Spray. If I feel like my face looks a little bit too matte, 
or I just want it to look really healthy and glowing and just super radiant, this is what I go for. This is amazing as well for when you're on holiday, like when you put it all on your chest, your arms, your legs. Like I love these, these are incredible. I'm gonna skip highlighter today and we're just gonna go for this because these look glossy and this looks glossy. So this is the face before. And now just look how the light bounces off of my skin and everything just looks more radiant. I really need to get my front of my fringe re-bleached because these roots coming through. Sometimes, honestly, I'm like, should I just go back to dark? And then I'm like, no, I like having lighter hair. And then, oh, I don't know. It's just a constant battle in my head on what hair color suits me best, honestly. I never really know. And this is the final look, you lovely lot. This is a full phase of products I have been loving throughout this month. I hope that you can see like why I've been loving them and just how good they look on the skin. You know, the foundation for me is perfect when I want a little bit more full coverage, especially when I've got breakouts on my chin. The same as the concealer. The concealer has such a nice sort of thick consistency and it just makes your under eye look really covered and stuff. And um, yeah, I just hope that you've been able to see just why I'm loving these products and see them in action and being applied onto the skin. Please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. It just lets me know that you have enjoyed this content. If you want to stay connected with me, then here is my Instagram. I post all the damn time on there. I'll also put my TikTok maybe like somewhere along here. Don't forget as well to comment your favorite concealer. It has to be full coverage, okay? Because I love a little bit of full coverage concealer. Comment down below and I'm going to try to reply to every single comment in this video anyway. Hope you're having a great week and I'll see all you lovely lot in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye. I met a girl from the UK. She had a cute. I tell her come if she wanna see me.